Welcome to our exploration of graph theory. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question about minimum product spanning trees, especially when negative weights come into play. Our viewer asks, how do we handle minimum product spanning trees when some edge weights are negative? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To understand how to find a minimum product spanning tree with negative weights, we first need to recognize the challenge posed by negative edges. When all edge weights are positive, we can take the logarithm of each edge weight and then apply either Kruskal's or Prim's algorithm. However, this approach fails with negative weights. With negative weights, we must include an odd number of negative edges, specifically the ones with the maximum weight. This is crucial for maintaining the minimum product. To implement this, first identify all edges and classify them into positive and negative weights. Then, select the maximum weight negative edges to include in your spanning tree. Finally, combine the selected negative edges with the minimum spanning tree formed by the positive edges to achieve the minimum product spanning tree. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find a minimum product spanning tree with negative weights, start by checking for negative edges. If you find one, maximize the log of the absolute values of the edges. Then check if the product is negative. If it is, keep the current tree. If not, swap a positive edge with a negative one or vice versa. If there are no negative edges, simply minimize the log of the edge values. The naive solution has a complexity of O n squared. This involves removing the edge with the lowest absolute value and checking the resulting tree. The algorithm can be improved, but the current approach involves checking pairs of edges after splitting the tree. This can be computationally intensive, so there's room for optimization. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The speaker doubts that Prim's algorithm can be modified for minimum product spanning trees with negative weights. Negative weights complicate the optimization process. If a negative result is found, the absolute value must be maximized, which means using edges with the highest absolute values. To simplify the problem, focus on finding the best negative solution. If none exists, use Prim's algorithm with the logarithm of absolute values. Merging vertices can help, where each vertex starts with a value of 1. When merging, create a new vertex that combines edges from both vertices, excluding the connecting edge. Mark removed edges to reconstruct the tree later. Merge nodes with only positive or negative edges, removing the edge with the highest absolute value. If you end up with one node and it's negative, the problem is solved. If positive, 
there's no negative solution. With a zero vertex, merge remaining nodes in any order. Aim for a connected graph with both negative and positive edges. Always merge using the edge with the highest absolute value. If the resulting vertex is less than or equal to zero, you have the best solution. If not, explore unused edges and consider their ratios to find a potential negative solution. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.